Hey, what's going on guys? Archer Remark, and I am back with another Star Wars action figure review. And this time again, I have another figure from the Phantom Menace wave of the Vintage Collection. And it's this guy, Jedi Quinlan Voss. Very cool and interesting figure. This guy's got a great uh, expanded universe background. Uh, but before we get into that, we will look at the packaging first. And you got at the top all your warnings and whatnot. Really cool Phantom Menace logo uh, that is embedded in the middle of the Star Wars vintage logo. Looks really cool like that. You have the character name there. And you have, well, it's, let's just say it's an image from the Phantom Menace. It's a little uninspired, but what are you going to do? I'll get. I'll go uh, more into detail about that later. You have the great Kenner logo. Uh, just really cool when you flip it around. And again, you have the vintage collection description, which I will pan across to give you the whole thing. And again, feel free to pause the video if you want to read the description. As usual, the really cool Star Wars logo on the corner there with Luke and Leia. Always love that. You have the 12 back image showing all 12 of the figures in this in this wave, which is really cool. Very strong wave, and you have three vehicles that will be. Released in vintage style packaging. Three really nice vehicles. Okay. We got the Hasbro logo, Star Wars logo, all the usual stuff. Barcode. Okay. And that's enough about the packaging. On to the figure. Uh, now this is a figure, or it's the character rather. You know, he's, he's, he's in the background. He's blinking, you miss him. Kind of... In uh, the Phantom Menace, and when they're in Mos Espa, and Jar Jar gets into a fight with Sebulba, and there's there's actually a couple of shots where you can see him, but you really have to look. Uh, now I noticed this. I'm not sure if this is because of the 3D effects or it was just the print or whatever. Maybe I was just looking for the character. I never. I don't think I ever really noticed him before. But when I saw Episode One in the theaters in 3D. Uh, I seem to notice him more, and I'm, you know, like I said, I don't know if that's because of the 3D or again if I was just looking for the character, uh, given I knew this figure was out. So, like I said, you know, not a great image, but that, but he's just sitting there in the back, so there's not much they could use. I really feel uh, that maybe he should have been an expanded universe card back instead of the Phantom Menace because. It's kind of stretching it to say he's in the Phantom Menace. But either way, we get a great Quinlan Voss figure. And that is the more important thing. So this guy's really cool. Great head sculpt. We'll go down. You know, and he's really interesting. You know, Jedi, for the most part, usually are pretty basic. You know, you have your Jedi robes. And, you know, it's just uh, not too much different many times with Jedi. But this guy really stands out. He's got he's sort of like a rebel a rebel Jedi, you know? And um with the dreadlocks and he's got the, the paint on his face. So it's a real interesting look and really, really cool. Uh, articulation goes as follows you have a ball joint in neck, ball in shoulders, ball in elbows, full wrists. Swivel waist, you have ball jointed hips, uh, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So, really cool. He has a green bladed lightsaber, as you can see. Very nice. He does include an unignited lightsaber. As you can see there. Cool hilt, sort of. Kind of reminds you a little bit of Qui-Gon's, a little bit of Obi-Wan's, you know. 
There's only so much you could do with a lightsaber hilt, but it's very nice. And he also includes, and this is part of the, the rebel part of him being a Jedi, is he likes to also carry a blaster pistol. Which, you know, it's, it's a neat looking pistol. It's a little different than anything else we've seen, I think. Or, you know, some similarities to other pistols, but it's, it's different. Something, you know, they didn't just throw in any random pistol. Which is cool. And that's nice. And he does have a working holster. Which you could put the blaster right there. Really nice there. And you have a peg hole. In which the lightsaber hilt can fit into. And you can see. There you go. There's the peg hole there. So really cool figure. I uh, was, you know, it's a nice addition to your your Jedi ranks. If I've been getting on a little bit of a kick of trying to collect a lot of different Jedi lately, you know, so have as many Jedi f figures other than just your main characters, your Obi Wan, Yoda, and so on. So definitely worth picking up, and you know, it's a great figure. I would absolutely recommend this. It's one of the best figures in this wave lots of accessories interesting look you know it's a cool character great great articulation so really worth adding to your collection so so yeah pick this guy up if you could find him and uh, yeah hope you like this review as usual comment rate subscribe and until my next review I will see you and may the force be with you.